fishing, just fishing, fishing, just fishing. Chicken jerks, chicken jerks, chicken jerks, fish. Chicken jerks, chicken jerks, just fishing. Chicken jerks, chicken jerks, chicken jerks, fish. Chicken jerks, chicken jerks, just fishing. Chicken jerks, chicken jerks, chicken jerks, fish. Chicken jerks, chicken jerks. Here we go guys, Wednesday, November 8th, sun just coming up in beautiful Greenport. Got a big crew today, got John Sweeney at the wheel. Got Tom Schlichter from Newsday. Nobody wants to know about this guy. It's John Skinner. And we got Jack. Clearless Tog today. We got the trolling motor anchor going, the Rodan. Hopefully the wind stays down and we have a good trip. We'll check it in a bit. All right, and here we go, guys. And as you heard in that cold intro, this is a Wednesday, November 8th trip uh, for TOG. Uh, yeah, a uh, flashback to the fall. Um, it's myself, John Halkius, John Sweeney, his dad, Jack, our good friend, John Skinner. You might have heard of him. And uh, Outdoor Tom, Tom Schlipker from New York Newsday, Outdoor Writer. And uh, Beta Choice today will be Green Crabs and White Crabs. Uh, over a hundred tog caught all on jigs, uh, fishing the Eastern Long Island Sound area, uh, relatively shallow depths, as you'll see a lot of fun, no real monsters, but, uh, Hey, uh, it, we've had cabin fever up here in the Northeast the past few months with the winter setting in and, uh, spring still, even though it's only about 20 days from the date this uh, video is getting published, we, we all know the real fishing doesn't start till May. So we're still a couple months away. So hopefully this, uh, this, what's your appetite until the fluke come in the uh, the beginning of May. Uh, as always, if you like these videos, hit that like button. And if you're not already a subscriber and you like the content, please do hit that subscribe button. Okay. Oh, do you no, that's okay. So Sweeney just dropped a trolling motor. And what we're going to do next, we have our spot marked. And there was a quick shot of Sweeney dropping the Rodan trolling motor. No anchors. Um, you've seen in some of our other videos, hopefully. Um, we don't anchor for blackfish anymore. We just put the trolling motor down, put it in anchor lock mode. And here's a, a screen grab of what the bottom looks like. You see a rocky bottom, 32 feet, water temp 55. Just perfect conditions for blackfish. Well... Two for three. There you go, Jack. What do you got? Jack's got something good. All right. Okay. Skinner's got another decent one here. That that's a that's one for the box, Skinner. It's a nice fish. Good job, Skinner. Yeah, seventeen, and fat, and real fat. Nice job. Ooh, good fish? No, Skinner's got something potentially good. I'm getting worked here too. Potential, huh? Oh, that? Nice job, a nice fish. That's a nice fish, Skinner, four pounder. Look at that. Well, I'm using the same jigs and I got three shorts, Skinner, so. I hear drag. Oh. Oh, 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 net? No? Skinner. No, that hook said it looked like a monster. It's a keeper. There's your limit. Yeah, that's a keeper, Skinner. If that's a keeper, keep it, because that's one I'll take. Really? Yeah, because I, I cook them whole for my mom, and, you know, that's the size, because anything bigger, then it's a lot of wasted meat. 
I, I, I have that white rod, that, that Tsunami uh, Slim Wave, all rigged with the Skinner Bucktail and with 30 pound uh, um, fluoro. Okay. Potential. Might be another little just short. Or, you know, 16, 16 and a half. He didn't really take a run. But... What do you think, Sween? He's fat, so that's a nice one for the oven. He's very religious, too. That's the... Uh-oh. Oh, he took me under a rock. I don't know if he's still on. Damn it. Swam with it. Oh, yep, he's on. This guy took me under a rock. The smart one is right. Ooh, 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 ooh. That's that's good. Skinners. Come on. Who would ever say your fish is good? That? I I I saw it. Oh no, it's a good fish. Get the net. It's a good fish. It's five plus. He's good. He looked much bigger in the water. Skinner, whites or greens? Now to this point, Tom, Outdoor Tom from uh, New York Newsday had no fish, so the razzing started, and sometimes that's all it takes for your luck to turn around. Skinner, I got good news for you though today. We brought this guy, uh, Tom, with us, so we, we each get an extra fish uh, as part of his bag limit. <laughs> well, that's, that, that's the only reason we invited you, Tom. Skinner, Skinner kind of told us, uh, yeah, if you want an extra bag oh, limit. Wow. <laughs> you might not be making fun of Tom. Oh! <laughs> nice, Tom. I love this Tom might have a serious fish on. Skinner, how light is that pole? Yeah, that, that pole is light. Everything's good on that pole. Oh, okay. Yeah, because that's why I'm using the kayak in all those videos. Yeah. Did he find it? No. no. It's right there. Yeah, that's a serious fish. Tommy. See, all it took was a little razzing from me, Tom, and you're, you're welcome, Tom. Oh, Jack. Jack, Jack has, Jack has potential here. He had one sitting on it. He did a rook, Rick Hook set. Uh, it lost some of its potential. No, he got it back. It just took a big run on him. Sweeney, you need he needs a better setup than this. It's, it, 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 he's, yeah, but it, yeah. Hold on, Jack. Jack, reel up a little. 
reel up, reel up. You, because he took drag. You, I, we don't want to grab it at the braid. Okay. Yeah. Oh, too far. It's a nice fish, Jack. That's a keeper. Look at that. Oh, that's a nice fish. There you go. You know what? That rod's great. If that pulled that in like that, I guess. Nice job. Whoa. All right, set. Just set. Oh, sweet. The skitter's on a good one. I heard the drag. Remember, you got Sweeney's limit too. That'll pass. If this is a 13 inch fish stock. Heck yeah. Better not be. And uh, here's one to file under Guggen Fishing. Tom and I both have a fish on. Mine is running like crazy. I, I think I have a monster on. I'm calling for the net. And uh, well, let, let's see what really happened here. Sweetie, this is the spot. Two keepers on here. Hold on. Do we have each other? Might. As I told Oh, we got the same fish. <laughs> Look at this. Hey, bring it up. <laughs> Look at that. Tag team. <laughs> Yeah, it's That's technically my fish, Tom. <laughs> I got the... had no chance. What do you think, Jack? It just took me all the way to the bottom. It took a big run. Second run. One in that? No. Sweetie, two big runs here. Two big runs. Oh, yeah? I'll, I don't think so, Jack. I'll, no, no. No, no, no. He's a keeper, but I can swing him. Luckily, he's on this. Uh, oh, Jack, I got you too. All right, hold on. What do you think, Ricky? You lost it? All right, don't tie. You got 10 pound test. I know, I know. I'm in the rocks. No, you're not. What? Let me come this way. It's a good fish. So, Tom, this is some of the commentary that I'm known for. <laughs> hey, Skinner. You know how I know this is a good fish? He told me. <laughs> there it is. It's a nice two and a half pound fish. Oh, half oh dude, pound. he's got the jig swallowed. Yeah. He had it in his mouth, dude. I went to lift and I thought I was in a rock. Hey. <laughs> Vindication, John. There you go, baby. Hey. And eventually the wind started picking up and we decided to head home, but it was a great day of fishing. Great fishing with Outdoor Tom, Tom Schlichter of Newsday for the first time. Um, and it was also great torturing Rick. You can see Rick of the Blue Jay, the aluminum 32 footer in the background here. Um, we were catching so many keepers and throwing them back and uh, you know, uh, getting under Rick's skin a little. I, I don't think they were having as good a day as we were. Uh, as always, if you like these videos, hit that like button. And if you're not already a subscriber and you like this content, please hit that subscribe button.